Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem sixty-six in chapter nine. In this chapter, in this chapter, we talk about linear momentum. And in this problem, we need to find the center of mass for this green part, for this raised part. We can consider it include two parts, right? We can consider first thing we have the uniform distributed circle. The origin is at the center, and then the radius is two r. And then subtract another circle. This circle, the center of mass is 0.8 r, just relative to the to the center of mass to the origin, and also the radius is r. Now, how can you find this green part? There, it gives you the hint. Try subtraction. So we can consider this large uniform circle is. Just includes two part. First part is this green part. The second part is this white part. Is that fine? Yes. And then the huge uniform circle. The center of mass is just at the origin. So x component is zero, y component is zero. Do you agree? And then for this one, the center of mass for this huge circular uh, plant. It should be the white part, the mass of white times the x white part plus m green part times x green divided by total mass. Similarly, we can get the function for y. So now we get these two functions. Now we can look at what quantity is given. First one, the mass of white can be found by the density times from these uh, areas pi r square, right? And the mass for this green part, we can use the uh, Huge circular minus this small circular, so this one, agree? So it's three pi three zero pi r square, and then this one is given. The center of mass for the white is zero point eight r, and the white part, the y, y component for center of mass for white is zero. Now we input the known quantities. We get these two equations, and for this equation, we can find the x gray part is negative. 0.27R and the Y part is 0. Thank you.